called X. Tonight, starring John Lund, who is taking over during Herbert Marshall's illness. The Man Called X is a regular Friday night feature on NBC's five-show festival of comedy, music, mystery, and drama. Brought to you by... RCA Victor, world leader in radio, first in recorded music, first in television. And by the makers of Anison for fast relief from pain of headache, neuritis, neuralgia. John Lund in The Man Called X. Wherever there is mystery, intrigue, romance, in all the strange and dangerous places of the world, there you will find The Man Called X. Here's a word from RCA Victor. Five in one. Five superb instruments in one great combination. That's what you get when you invest in RCA Victor's new television radio phonograph combination, the Rutland. Yes, here in one beautiful cabinet, you'll find big 17-inch RCA Victor million-proof television. Television that brings you clear, bright pictures. Steady pictures that are locked in place by RCA Victor's exclusive eyewitness picture synchronizer. You'll enjoy the latest and greatest RCA Victor AM and FM radio, plus two superb automatic record changers for recorded music at all three speeds. Yes, five superb instruments. And yet, because you pay for only one sound system, only one cabinet, their cost is far less than what you'd pay for comparable console instruments. So when you invest in a television set, insist on the best. Insist on RCA Victor Television. See and hear the Rutland and the many other fine RCA Victor television sets Available now at your RCA Victor dealers. The news came over the press service teletypes early on a cheerful June morning. It was only one short paragraph in length, but its impact had immediate worldwide repercussions. Dateline, Bucharest, Romania. Theodore Johnson, American businessman, arrested in Harsovia last week by Vladimir Boric of the Romanian Security Police, has confessed to being an American spy. Johnson's trial will be held in the People's Court in Bucharest one week from today. And within one hour after the news broke, within the offices of the Bureau in New York City. Something's got to be done about it, fast. Ted Johnson is as innocent as you are. Sure, Bill, I know... But this involves the internal security of another country. It's not the Bureau's business. Chief, it's the world's business. They forced that confession out of Johnson to whip up war hysteria against the United States. I agree, Bill. I agree 100%. But there's nothing we can do. We can prove to the world that Johnson's innocent by getting him out of Romania. What? You know, Ted Johnson's wife tried to call Ken Thurston. With Ken laid up, I took the call. She told me Ted was in Istanbul, Turkey, on business... Bill, as long as you're working for the Bureau, you've got to stay out of it. Chief, you ought to read your mail a little more carefully. Huh? My mail? Yeah. One of your agents has just resigned. A fellow by the name of Bill Pringle. Bill, you... I'll see you around, Chief. That is, if you ever get to Istanbul. Believe me, Mr. X. I, I, I mean, Mr. Pringle. You're one plenty, plenty smart cook you're taking me along. Yeah. There's nothing I don't know about that Istanbul place. All right, Pagan. How about digging out the characters who handle the underground escape route from Romania? That's <laughs> a cinch. When it comes to the underground, I... Huh? Yeah. There's an underground escape route in every country behind the Iron Curtain. For people who'd like a taste of liberty for a change. I want you to find out how they get out of Romania and into Turkey. Oh, believe me, Mr. Pringle, it's, it's as good as did. <laughs> I got friends who'll tell me anything. For a slight consideration, of course. Oh, shall we say, uh, uh, a hundred bucks? Okay. Absolutely not. I wouldn't consider it for a penny less. I, huh? You mean you'll pay? Sure. Well, okay. <laughs> okay. But why do you want to know about the, this escape route? We're not coming out of Romania. That's right, Pagan. We're going in. Go 
could not have come to a more perfect, a more wonderful person with whom to discuss your difficulties, my darling, Mr. Pringle. I am Baron Laszlo Tagore at your service. I'm glad to know you, Baron. But of course, why should you not be? Uh, now, why is it you have come to visit the magnificent Baron Tagore? Well, and I... I do so hope that it has something to do with money, my dear Pringle. I simply adore money. It has so many uses, you know. Baron, I want to talk to you about Ted Johnson. I understand he was doing business with you here in Istanbul. Ah, oh, yes, yes, yes. Darling, Mr. Johnson, what a ghastly thing to happen. So unfortunate, so sad, and so unremunerative to me. What really happened to Gori? He was inconsiderate enough to have himself seized by the Romanian security police before concluding our affairs. I had not made a profit of even a single piastre out of him. It was really terribly inconsiderate. Yeah, very. How did it happen he was arrested in Romania when his business was with you here in Turkey? My darling Pringle, all I know is that Mr. Johnson came to me regarding certain silks and perfumes he wished to purchase. I would have made a huge profit on the transaction. But then, before giving me a check, poof, he vanished. So, we have disposed now of Mr. Johnson. Tagore, we haven't disposed of anything. Now, look here. Oh, how I... sweet of you to be so forceful. Uh, but you must realize that he will go on trial in Bucharest, confess his crimes in court, and be hung. Poof. Just as simple as that. But, of course, there is nothing anyone can do for him now. Not even the magnificent Balantagori. Please remember that, darling. That's right, Mr. Pringle. If you want any dope about people escaping from Romania, the place to go is the Konaksim Cafe down at the docks, at table number 53. Konaksim Cafe, table 53. Then what? It's simple. Tell whoever sits down with you that, that you want to go fishing. So, you are interested in fishing, Mr. Pringle? That's right, Miss... Uh... Call me Saria. Okay, Saria. Right now, I'm looking for a guide. Know of any? Well, there are all kinds of guides, Mr. Pringle. What kind of a catch are you after? Oh, a big one. Oh. Like the one they landed near Harsovia last week. Name of Johnson. The catching of such a prize is up to the fishermen. All that the owner of a boat can do is take him to the proper fishing grounds. Well? I will have my own boat ready to leave in half an hour. Arriving at our destination, Mr. Pringle. Arriving? I don't see nothing out there in the darkness, but but darkness. The Romanian coast, are you? Yes. 13 kilometers southeast of Constanta. The coastline here is deserted. You should have little difficulty in making your way to the railroad. Good. The Constanta Bucharest Express leaves at 9 in the morning. All right. From then on, it will be up to you. Well, thanks for everything, sir. No thanks unnecessary. Just leave the boat at once. We are in constant danger every minute we remain here. Sure. Come on, Fagan. Oh, look, Mr. Pringle. Why, why don't I just give you a letter to my cousin Vasily in Bucharest? Oh, huh? come on. Okay, okay. Oh. Only a fellow could catch his death of wet feet doing things like this. Oh. Well, well, I hope you're satisfied now. There goes that luscious cookie saria with, with the boat. Oh, we've jumped right into the frying pan. Hold it, Fagan. Huh? Somebody moving in that brush over there. You there! Shut up. Oh, he thinks we're over there. Let's get going. This is Vladimir Bolek of the security police. I command you to hold at once. <laughs> security police? Yeah. Somebody must have tipped him off. Now they'll be on our tail all the way to Bucharest. <laughs> I should have my head examined coming along with you this way. 
How long do we have to stay on that board of this throttle trap train anyways? We'll be in Bucharest in a few minutes. And so, so we'll be in Bucharest. So what? It'll only make it easier for that Vladimir Boric to, to latch on to us. Not if we can get to Mikhail Andescu first. Huh? Mikhail Andescu? Who is he? Ken Thurston and I worked with him in the resistance during the war. Now, what's a friend of yours doing behind Iron Kirk? The same thing he was doing then. If there's a prayer of saving Ted Johnson's neck, he'll know the people who can help us. Oh, so, so who cares? Can they help us save my neck? <laughs> Good afternoon, comrades. As loyal patriots of the People's Republic of Romania, I know you will not mind sharing your compartment with a brother. A brother? Why not at all? Come in. Thank you. I would not trouble you this way, but I understand that two enemies of the state are traveling with us today. Oh, I hadn't heard about this. What's going on? Oh, there is nothing to fear. Naturally, those of us whose identification papers are in perfect order have nothing to be concerned about. Oh, but your pardon for not having introduced myself earlier. I am Vladimir Borek, head of the security police. Security? Of course. Two such loyal subjects of our great republic do not mind the slight inconvenience of showing me your identification. Merely a matter of routine. You understand? Sure. Well, I'll be glad to, Comrade Borek. I have my papers right here. Oh. Ooh. What did you want to come him for? Now he'll be sore on us. And I'll bet he's got plenty of stooges aboard with him. That's right. So... Oh. Now, out this window, Pagan. Huh? Fast. Oh, huh? we still got a chance to find Andesco. <laughs> sure this is that Andesco's house, Mr. Pringle? They haven't taken it away from him, it is. Huh. But, but there's nobody's answering. Oh, he must have gone to a movie or something. He must have... Pooped. <laughs> Welcome, my darling, Mr. Pringle. Welcome to Bucharest. Tagore. But of course, my dear person. Oh, what a wonderful pleasure it must be for you to see here the magnificent Baron Tagore. Skip it, Baron. Where's Andesco? Oh, yes, yes. The poor, unfortunate Mikhail Andesco. Where is he? He was most indiscreet. How stupid of him to allow himself to be executed by the security police. Executed? Ah, oh, but do not be sad. Is not the magnificent Baron Tagore here to greet you instead? And that must be most reassuring to you, is it not, my darling? <laughs> We'll continue with The Man Called X in just a moment. Every day you hear more and more about an incredibly fast way to relieve the pains of headache, neuritis, and neuralgia. It's Anacin. A-N-A-C-I-N. Now, the reason Anacin is so wonderfully fast-acting and effective is this. Anacin is like a doctor's prescription. That is, Anacin contains not just one, but a combination of medically proven active ingredients in easy-to-take tablet form. Thousands of people have received envelopes containing anison tablets from their own dentist or physician, and in this way discovered the incredibly fast relief anison brings from pains of headache, neuritis, or neuralgia. So the next time a headache strikes, take anison, A-N-A-C-I-N. Anison in handy boxes of 12 and 30. Economical family size bottles of 50 and 100. Ask for anison at any drug counter. Now, Act Two of The Man Called X, tonight starring John Lund, with Leon Velasco as Pagan Zellschmidt. Bill Pringle has secretly entered Bucharest in an effort to rescue Ted Johnson, who is being held for trial as an American spy. At the home of Mikhail Andesco, a member of the underground, they are greeted, however, by Baron Laszlo Tagore, former business associate of Johnson's, who tells them Andesco has been executed by the security police. Yes, my dear gentlemen, it was most thoughtless of Mikhail to disappoint you this way. 
but the Baron Tagoris shall do his magnificent best to make you feel at home. Please to enter and accept my hospitality. All right, Tagori. Now, what's the pitch? How sweet of you to ask, my dear Pringle, but there is no one I would rather speak about more than myself. Uh, first, however, I should like you to meet some of my friends. Uh, this is Anton Barsak. Gentlemen. And here we have the taciturn Leonid. And as for the last member of this most distinguished gathering... Look, look, it's... it's... Yeah. How did you get here so fast, Sarya? Well, then, Vladimir Borex may not take to the landing place I radio to Laszlo. He flew over from Istanbul, picked me up, and we continued here to Bucharest. Are you not most magnificently pleased, my dear Pringle? Yeah. Yeah. I'm beginning to think I am, Tagori. Maybe Andescu is gone, but... Looks like he left a pretty good organization behind him. Yes. We helped you get into Romania, Mr. Pringle. We'll help you to get out. With Ted Johnson? What a superfluous question, my dear boy. But of course we darling, Mr. Johnson. That is where Johnson's trial will be held, Bill. In the People's Court, Stalinplatz 7. Stalinplatz 7, huh? Looks more like a fortress than a court building. It is. The headquarters of the security police are there. And it is where Johnson is being held prisoner. Have you learned the name of the trial judge? But of course, my dear Pringle. He is von Andras Prinkipo, known to his most flattering enemies as the Butcher. Prinkipo? Huh? Unfortunately, we have been able to ascertain nothing detrimental about his service to the state. Maybe not, but there's always... Pagan's cousin, Vasily. Oh, but how would our dear Mr. Zellschmidt's cousin help us in this matter? If Pankipo's ever been mixed up with anything crooked in Romania, you can bet your life a Zellschmidt will know about it. We are here, my friend, Stalin Plot 7. Good. It's now uh, 10.15. The mm -hmm. trial started. Pagan, a few minutes before they recess, at 11.55, have the car at the side entrance. Huh? It's your neck if you don't. I... Oh, I'll be there, Mr. Pringle. Well, how about it, Laszlo? Everything straight in your mind? My beloved friend, I can already see the pained look upon poor dear Judge Prinkipo's face when he enters his chambers after a trying morning upon the bench. <laughs> Not nippy. All right, all right. Let's go in. <laughs> I can now fully appreciate the wonderful enjoyment experienced by the man in the circus who places his head into the mouth of the lion. The Baron Tagore shall be forever indebted to you. I'll take a rain check on that, Laszlo. Where are Prinkipo's chambers? That door with the security police guard standing in front of it. <laughs> Needless to say, I'm quite relieved to see that he is one of our men. Mm. Where's the side entrance? In the short corridor that runs to the left. Good. We should be able to... What is it, my friend? Look, that woman leaving those offices up ahead. Hmm? Isn't she... Oh, I lost her in the crowd around that corner. As much as it pains me, my darling Pringle, need I remind you that this is a time for affairs of action, not of the heart. Whose offices are they? The den of that most vicious of all the Romanian foxes, Vladimir Borek. Surely you do not wish to visit him at a time like this. No, no. Just wondering why Sarya would want to visit him. What? You believe that woman you saw of us? Oh, oh, no, 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 my beloved friend. Sarya is making our final arrangement at the airport. <laughs> you are mistaken. You better be right, Laszlo, because if you're not, well, it's too late now. Let's go into the courtroom. You admit then, prisoner, that you are guilty of the crimes against the state with which you have been charged. I do. You confess them freely of your own volition, without duress. I, I confess them freely. Very well. The accused will please state in his own words the actions that led to his arrest upon those charges. I, Theodore Johnson, a citizen of the United States, was officially assigned the task by my government of entering secretly into Romania my objective was to perform acts of sabotage against the People's Republic 
and to learn what military and state secrets I could. Incredible. To Even to me, to it is Department incredible. I've seen them do it before. They make zombies out of their political prisoners. They always... What is it? Vladimir Borak, going up to the bench, talking to Prince Kipo. The fox and the butcher failing to observe the rigid protocol of the people's court? Hmm. A paradox, my beloved friend, is it not? Well, they wouldn't be doing it unless there was a pretty strong reason. Oh, start heading for the door. The proceedings of the people's court in the matter of the American spy Theodore Johnson will now be recessed. Remove the prisoner. Come on, come on, let's get out. Yes, sir. Frankly, you know, it is most distressing to me to be involved in such an undignified flight, but apparently your eyesight is keener than my sense of suspicion. That woman you saw leaving Borek's office... Yeah, she was, Sarya, and she sold us out. Of course, Sarya sold them up in Kipo. Why are you so surprised? Did she not obtain Johnson for us so we could use him for our propaganda purposes? But, but, my dear comrade Borek, it all seems so incredible. A plot to kidnap me, to obtain the release of the American. How did they intend to carry out this fantastic plan? They had not informed Soria of the details. That is why I made you halt the proceedings so abruptly. Here, in your chambers, under my personal protection, you will be quite safe. Don't be too sure, Borek. What? Comrade Borek, this man... Pringle. Yes, my darling comrade Borek. And you would be most foolish to attempt to reach for any weapons. This one of mine is equipped with a delicious silencing mechanism. You cannot frighten Vladimir Borek. My men have this building surrounded. Without official passes, you will never leave here alive. Thanks for the advice. We'll follow it. After we get through with Prinkipo. With, with me, comrades? What is it you wish with me? Your signature in this custodial release of Theodore Johnson. Release? It orders Johnson to be placed in your custody for further questioning before the trial resumes. Sign it. But, but... The... Sign nothing, Principal. They cannot get away with this. Do you wish to know something, my darling boy? Your voice is beginning to irritate me. As much as I detest to islands, I'm afraid I must be... Oh, comrades, please! All right, Principal. The release. Sign it. No, no, no. I will sign nothing. You should have thought of that in November of 49. November 49? Yeah. Ever hear of a man by the name of Vasily Zellschmidt? Oh, Zellschmidt. What has he got to do with this? He had plenty to do with you. And a black market operation in roller bearings. Maybe you'd like to explain to the Politburo how they wound up in Yugoslavia instead of the Romanian factories they were intended for. I, I don't know what you're referring There's to. There's another little item, June 1950. A shipment of industrial diamonds. You no. Know. That turned up in Western Germany instead of Russia. Does the Kremlin know what happened to your bank balance about that time? You have no proof. You... We've got a lot more proof than you have against Ted Johnson. The security police found a way to make him confess. I don't think they'll have too tough a job with you. Well? All right. All right, I... I will sign. <laughs> Help of the car, Pagan. I, I got him. You're next, Prinkipo. What do you wish with me now? What you... You're going to be our official passport out of Romania. Get in. Oh. Laszlo? Yes, my beloved friend. Good. All right, let's head for the airport, fast. Planes are ready for us? Yes, it is, however, a Russian bill to call at 70. <laughs> Perhaps I should have inquired earlier as to whether or not you can fly it without me. It's their copy of our own C-47. I can fly it. Oh, sure, sure. Only how do we get past all the guards out there in that airport? The same way we got out of Stalin Plot 7, Prinkipo. He's got the authority. And when it comes to using it or getting purged, we'll get past those guards. <laughs> We've been flying for hours already. When do we get to Turkey anyways? We'll get there, Pagan. But, but I don't like this flying in the clouds all the time. We could bump into something or something. We'd bump into a lot more if we flew above them. 
According to the radio, every fighter plane in Romania is up looking for us. Ooh, don't, don't say things like that. You give my goose pimples. Maybe I should have stayed in Bucharest with that Baron Tagori. Hey! Hey, look! <laughs> We're out of the clouds. Yeah, yeah, there's the Black Sea. And that's Turkey, dead ahead. Boy, Turkey. Oh, will I ever be glad to get down on solid firma. Ah, well, I guess we can relax now, eh? Not quite. Huh? Look back, up there to the left. Those planes, they're diving down on yeah, us. Yeah, two jet fighters, Russian-built MiGs. Ooh, ooh, we gotta do something. Try hanging on to your hat. The first one's making his pass now. Ooh, ooh. I'm dead. Not yet, Pagan. Give the second one a chance. Oh, oh, oh that did it. That, that did it. Oh, relax, you idiot. They just hit our engines. They, they were going to crash up into the Black Sea. That's what I hope those MiGs will think. Then maybe they'll... Hey, yeah. They're heading back to Romania. Hey, you mean we're not going to crash? I'm going to try for a landing. Beside that Turkish destroyer down there. If we can make it. Well, well, what do you know? We made it. Yeah. Looks like it, Pagan. And that destroyer will pick us up in a minute. Look. Look that Mr. Johnson slept all through it. Oh, the poor guy. Boy, what they did do to him there in Big Romania. Yeah. But he'll be all right once we get him back to the States. Too bad we can't say the same about the others. Huh? What others? The millions who are still behind the Iron Curtain. Prisoners of their people's republics drugged by propaganda, tortured by their fears of the secret police. I wonder how long it'll take to make them well again. Now, here to tell you about next week's program is our star for tonight, Mr. John Lund. As Herbert Marshall would say... Thanks for being with us. Oh, and by the way, my thanks to Will Wright, Lillian Bayef, Parley Bear, Frank Gerstel, Stephen Garay, Lamont Johnson, and, of course, Leon Belasco as Pagan Zellschmidt. Next week, Ken Thurston tangles with a grain black market in India. That's right, Mr. X himself, because next week, Herbert Marshall will be with you again. So join him, won't you? when he returns as the man called X. Good night. The Man Called X is the Friday night feature on NBC's five-show festival of comedy, music, mystery, and drama. Brought to you by RCA Victor, world leader in radio, first in recorded music, first in television. And by the makers of Anison for fast relief from pain of headache, neuritis, neuralgia. The Man Called X is a J. Richard Kennedy production with music by Milton Charles. Tonight's story was written by Sidney Marshall. John Lund may now be seen in the Paramount production of The Mating Season. All characters and incidents on this program are fictitious, and any resemblance to actual characters or incidents is purely coincidental. Be sure to hear The Magnificent Montague with Monty Woolley, formerly heard on Friday, now brought to you as a Saturday night feature of NBC's All-Star Festival. And until next week, same time and station, this is Jack Latham saying good night for The Man Called X. William Bendix stars in the life of Riley. Enjoy it on NBC.